Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Frank James Marshall and Amos Byrne. This game was played in Ostend in 1907. Ostend is a city in Belgium. Frank Marshall had white pieces and he started with d4. Byrne played knight to f6, knight to f3, d6, bishop to f4, knight from b to d7, e3. Marshall is playing London system. G6. Bishop to D3. Bishop to G7. Knight from B to D2. Burn castled kingside. It is white to move. Should white castle kingside too? Perhaps a castling is not a bad move. But Marshall didn't find castling too exciting and played h4. Rook to e8, h5. Knight takes pawn, attacking the bishop. What now? What would you do? Marshall sacrificed the exchange. Pawn takes rook, white to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Marshall sacrificed the bishop on h7 and this is check. Did you see this one coming? Would you play this in your game? King takes bishop. Knight to g5 check. King to g6. If king goes to g8 then a queen takes on h5, and after knight to f6, a queen takes on f7 check, king to h8, castling queen side, and white is winning. So in the game we have a king to g6, knight from d to f3, e5, knight to h4 check, king to f6, knight to h7 check, king to e7, knight to f5 check, King to e6. Knight takes bishop check. King to e7. Knight to f5. King to e6. White to move. How to continue? How would you continue to attack on black king? Marshall played d5, sacrificing the knight. King takes knight. White move. Can you guess Marshall's next move? This one is not too difficult. Queen takes pawn on h5 check. King to e4. Wow. What a position. But it's not finished yet. It's not finished until skinny lady sings. How would you checkmate black king? Marshal castle queen side. Sacrificing the bishop. Pawn takes bishop. Why to move? white to move and to checkmate in one rook to d4 checkmate incredible game isn't it and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now